Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Svetlana and today we are making a uh, rye custard bread. It's very popular in Eastern Europe, in Germany and in some Scandinavian countries and in North America um, you can find you can find rye bread, but it's not the bread I used to eat since my childhood, so I decided to make it myself. And um, there are a lot of benefits um, in rye flour. I don't want to list them up, like just look it up on <laughs> Mighty Google. And uh, the only like benefit I'm going to mention, if you want to avoid a lot of gluten in your uh, diet, you can eat a rye um, bread. It has almost no gluten. That's why rye bread usually is very dense. It's quite heavy and moist. But again, it's a personal taste, but I love it. First, we'll do a leaven. And I have a starter. And for the next video, uh, I'll just uh, show you how to make starter. I'm kind of making my videos backward, but trust me, I'll show you how to do it. And for leaven, we'll just simply use uh, a starter. We'll use uh, water and flour. Let's just begin. Here is my starter. To make living for our sourdough custard bread, we'll mix one cup flour, one cup water, and four tablespoons of uh, rye flour starter. Mix well, cover, and let it rise to double in size. Now we'll need to scald one cup of rye flour with hot boiling water. We put as much water as we need to make kind of porridge uh, with our flour. Also we need to mix uh, our rye mold with hot boiling water and add it to our flour porridge. Mix it and let it cool down till it's warm, not hotter than your body temperature. Now when our leaven doubled in size, I usually do it overnight. We'll mix it with our flour porridge, add caraway seeds or coriander, half a teaspoon salt and also one cup of flour. Mix it well and we'll wait it to rise for maybe 50% of what we have right now. That's the consistency of uh, dough you want to get for your bread. Cover and leave it. So our dough rolls a little bit, just maybe 50% of what we had at the beginning. Now we need very carefully to transfer it to a baking dish. Try not to squeeze all this air bubbles from our dough. We'll bake our bread 15 minutes at 425 Fahrenheit. 45 minutes at 3.75 and then half an hour at 3.50. Rye bread that is made only with rye flour is usually ready only the very next day. So after you bake it, you can cover it well and wait one more day. It requires patience. <laughs> 